Welcome to Donovan's Dead of Games for the day of July 14th, 2021. Just about a week away until I go with my friends to see that St. Lucie Mets game. And let's go ahead and play some Family Feud featuring the old meathead Louie Anderson. Welcome to the Family Feud. Ah, uh -huh. Backstage. All right. How many fam- Pick your family. Family one, you have the space bar. Let's get this show on the road. They're from the Sunshine State, and they describe themselves as hungry, but, I but mostly hilarious. Give it up for family number one. <laughs> They're from Nevada. They describe themselves as being chivalrous and relaxed. Let's hear it for them. Family number two. These two families will be going head to head on the Family Feud. Here oh, is the first of our show, of Louis, Louis Anderson. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my breath for Welcome that. to the feud. We've got a great game lined up All for right. you. Alright, 20,000 in the bank. Let's get started. Poor oh, meathead. You know the drill. 100 people did the survey. Top six answers up on the board. Good luck. Okay, here we go. Name something people use for transportation, transportation in Alaska. Transportation in Alaska. This is on no. the list. What do you think it is, family number one? Dog sleds. I hope it's there for you. Let's see. Dog sled. Dog yes, it. You got oh, it. Oh, the oh, number oh, one answer. answer. Family number one, are you gonna play or pass? First bonus You're of the playing? game. Okay. Got okay. it. Another player. Okay. Got an answer for us? Name something people use for transportation in Alaska. Oh, hang on. Hmm. Got an answer for us? A snowmobile. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Is it there? Show us. You bet. You bet. Another player. We need another answer. Name something people use for transportation in Alaska. Uh, answer, please. Airplane. Survey says. You got it. Got it. Next player, what's your guess? Name something people use for transportation in Alaska. Uh, boat. Is it there? Good answer. 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 Name something people use for transportation in Alaska. Uh, snowshoes. Let's go. Show me. You sure did know. Well done. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we did, you old meathead. Fifty grand in the bank. Let's check out how both families are doing after the first round. Good job, family number one. You've got the lead. Family number two, you're not far off the lead. Are you ready for round two? Come on, let's go. Remember, family. Let's, let's go. go. We surveyed 100 people. Top four answers on the board. 
Here we go. Tell me the one bill that you'd love to have paid off. Paid off. No. Okay, family number one. House. All right, All right show me. Mortgage, Mortgage house. house. The number one answer, all right. Family number one, are you gonna play or pass? You're playing? All right. Okay. Next family member, what do you say? Tell me the one bill that you'd love to have paid off. Good answer, yeah. So they said. Good answer. That's right. Well, Another player. We need another answer. Tell me the one Print bill card. that you'd love to have paid off. Answer, Is yeah. it there? Oh, Show it. Yes, indeed. Yes. Next family member. What do you say? Tell me the one bill that you'd love to have paid off. Kaboom! Good! Didn't get a <laughs> chance on that one. Ooh. No, we did not, yo, we had 60 grand in the bank. <laughs> That's the end of round two. Let's see how everybody's doing. You're building up a big lead, family number one. Hang in there, family number two. It's round, it's round three. Let's, let's do, do it. it. A member from each family. Let's go. We surveyed 100 people. Top 70 grand in the bank. Board. He said, it's round three. Let's do it. Name something that gets traded. No. OK, family number one. Okay. I want to say... Baseball card. Baseball card. I was going to say Marcy with Lucy, but they're both similar players on their Top respective teams. Family number one, are you going to play or pass? You're playing? Okay. 80 grand in the bank. Next player, what's your guess? Name something that gets traded. Is it there? Okay. Excellent. Next player, let's go. Name something that gets traded. Pro athlete. Yeah. Is it there? Yeah. Show us. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You got it, you got it. Another player, okay. Got an answer for us? Unless Name something that gets stopped. traded. Is it there? Show us! You got all of them! Well done! Another, another 90 point plus round. Brings us to the end of round three. Let's look at the scores. You're building up a big lead, family number one. There's lots of game left, family number two. In round four, points are tripled, but you only get one strike. And then the other family gets a chance to steal. Let's play. Two more players, and we can get going. Let's do it. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers are on the board. We're looking for the most popular answer. Good luck. Tell me something slobs leave a trail of. Slobs leave a trail of. No. Uh, <laughs> dirty <number> clothes. <laughs> All right, yeah. show me. Dirty, dirty clothes. clothes. 
you got Sorry. it. It's my number one answer. answer. Family number one, are you gonna play or pass? You're playing? Okay. Another player, we need another answer. Tell me something slobs leave a trail of. Crumbs. Is it there? Show us. Yes. yes. Next player, Garbage. let's go. Tell me something slobs leave a trail of. Ninety grand in the bank. Yes, indeed. Next family member. What Last do you answer to send us the Tell fast money. Bob's leave a trail. Yes, All right. Show me. That. You got all of them. Well done. I did. That takes us to the end of this round. Hey, let's check out the scoreboard. Well done, family number one. Good game, everybody. Going to the fast money round is All right, big 90 grand in the family bank, number maybe 100,000 if our dumb answers on the survey are and then he said, time to play fast money. I need two people from your village. Let's go. It's our fast money no, round. Pick two that. players from your family to play. Tara and Nate. We have Nate our first good, answer. good luck. The clock won't start until I finish reading the first question. Name something that an athlete probably eats or drinks daily to feel especially healthy. Um, water. Name something you'd see in a chemistry laboratory. Um, potions? Name something that's foamy. Um... No. Soap? Name a breed of dog that slobbers. Uh... German Shepherd. Dumb answer time. Name a food that makes... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to say really loud hamburger for that one. I am going to say... Uh, no. Uh, Michael's Chunking Peanuts. <laughs> Let's see how you did. Name something that an athlete probably eats or drinks daily to feel especially healthy. You said... Water. Let's see if it was there. Yes. Alright, at least water got something. Name something you'd see in a chemistry laboratory. You said... Potions? Let's see if it was there. Nothing. Or maybe a test tube. Name something that's foamy. Your answer was... Soap. Show it to us. Nothing! Name a breed of dog that slobbers. You answered... German Shepherd. Was it up there? Or... This is getting way too pathetic. Name a food that makes noise as you eat it. Here's your answer. Michael's Chunky Peanuts. Survey peanuts. said. Got nothing. Ten points. Wow. Our next player needs, needs more than 150 points, points to win the fast money round in 10 grand. We now have our second player. Same five questions, looking wow, for the most popular was answers. Absolutely The clock won't start until I finish the first question. Good luck. Name something that an athlete probably eats or drinks daily to feel um, especially healthy. What do they drink daily? No. A uh, cereal? Name something you'd see in a chemistry lab. A test tube. Name something that's foamy. A bubble bath. 
Name a breed of dog that slobbers. A breed of dog that slobbers. St. Bernard. No. Name a food that makes noise as you eat it. Um, potato chips. Let's take a look at your answer. Name something that an athlete probably eats. Uh, this is going to be a long shot. You answered. Was it up there? Nothing for cereal. That was hard. Name something you'd see in a chemistry laboratory. You said... Test tube. Show it to us. 41! We big need all the rest of these answers to be number one answers. Otherwise, we're not going to do it. The most popular answer. Yes! <laughs> Name something that's foamy. Your answer was... A bubble bath. Our survey said... Nothing! What?! Bubble bath got nothing?! Are oh, they saying it's not for me? Name a breed of dog that slobbers. You said. Well, oh, I'm gonna get shot over the moon. Was it up there? Forty-one. <sighs> the most popular answer. That, yes. Those two surveys were so hard. You, eat it. you gave us. This. Our survey said. Forty-nine. Those for me and athlete surveys were like. So hard. I could have, I could have uh, made a nice comeback if those weren't so hard. Yes. But I know it's time to for Michael to do his honors. I'll look at that Peter Colby video later. Uh, Michael went offline. We're waiting for Nate. Nate's online. Shoot me over. Come on, shoot me over. <sighs> Do I have to shoot myself over again? Because Nate's not going to respond.
Uh, I have to do it myself. Must I always do it myself? Huh, cause everybody's busy. Hey, my nuts aren't e my peanuts aren't edible. <laughs> Gamer on top, I don't know him. Matt, it's Matt R. Kaboom. <laughs> ah, I'm flying over the moon and landing in the M&M's candy factory. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you next time. Leave a like, subscribe, and visit my store at denetgames.stormy.com.